when you want the truth and when you want the facts you better watch no filter because i got your back ain't no ducking ain't no dodging ain't no scheming ain't no hiding because i got that work you want to get this work you want to get this work you about to get this work What's up, everybody? Welcome back to No Filter News and Talk, and it's your girl, Ingrid. Welcome back. Big shout out to all my subs out there. Hey, listen, guys, I just had to bring you guys this story. It's unbelievable. It. I mean, I'm trying to wrap my thoughts around it, and I really can't. And let me just read you guys this article. The murderer, 26-year-old Michael Ivory Collins, has been convicted of the murders of 24-year-old Mariah Cunningham, her five-year-old daughter, Alea Fisher, and her three-year-old son, Elijah Fisher. Little Rock, Arkansas, a mother was held down and forced to watch a home intruder stab her two young children and then decapitate them. Yes, you heard me, decapitate them. I, I just can't believe it. The home intruder and his accomplice then killed the mother as well. The 26-year-old murderer, Marco Ivory Collins, has been convicted of murders of 24-year-old Mariah Cunningham and her 5-year-old daughter, Alea Fisher, and her 3-year-old son, Elijah Fisher. The bodies were discovered on the afternoon of December the 5th, 2017 at their Little Rock home. Collins' trial started Tuesday, October the 15th, in Judge Herb Wright courtroom, it was reported that Collins had stabbed Alea around 20 times and then tried to decapitate her. Collins then turned his attention to Elijah, whom he stabbed at least 14 times before decapitating him. The children's mother, Cunningham, was held down by Collins' accomplice, 23-year-old William Burrell Alexander. Cunningham was forced to watch her children being killed before she was murdered. Pro Prosecutor Barbara Morena revealed some of the sickening details during the capital murder trial. She told jurors how it took the men only 20 minutes to murder the family after Collins and Alexander robbed the family's house. The juror at the Pulaski County Court were told how the family had been killed over a TV, a Xbox, and Cunningham's Honda. The two men had believed that Cunningham was wealthy but were mistaken. According to reports by the, by the Arkansas Democrat Gazette, Collins will face execution during his sentencing if he is convicted of the triple murder. The court was also told how Collins fled to Chicago after the murders. He was found by federal agents while sleeping on the couch next to a pair of Adidas shoes which had the victim's blood on it. Collins was taken into custody where he felt very guilty and confessed to the crime to a fellow inmate. He also claimed that he was being hunted by Cunningham's ghost. Prosecutor Morena shared, like any good mother, Maria, Mariah, I'm sorry, fought and fought, and then she haunted him in his dream. Guys, I am disturbed beyond words. I really don't know the details as to how he know her. Maybe he was just watching her. Was it a social media thing? I don't know how he knew her, but arriving at her home, because you thought she was wealthy and she probably was just a regular woman working, taking care of her kids the best way she knew how. But you never know who's watching you. And he probably befriended her watching her social media posts. You know, people post about, you know, new clothes, new shoes, new things. I, I don't know. I don't know that the details, but... I'm just thinking that's what possibly could have went on. And then he thought she had some money. And he left with a TV, a Xbox, and her car. And he ditched her car like two miles up the road or something. Wow. That is, you, people, we have to protect, you know, our home. We have to protect ourselves. You can't let any and everybody in your home. You can't even let them in your business. Don't even post about um, what you do for your children and where you're going and what you're doing because you never know who's watching you. 
We are dealing with some demonic forces. I mean, we, we've been dealing with them, but now they are more prevalent than ever. We are. So you have to protect yourself. Watch what you watch, what you listen to, what you put in your body. You just have to be more aware. Whew, but guys, I just had to bring you this story. Um, Man, I, I, I just don't have no words. You guys, tell me what you think in the comments. Make sure you go over and like the Instagram page. And like this, like, share, and subscribe so that other people can get this type of information. I mean, yeah, I know we cover Nipsey Hussle. I know we cover celebrities stories and things like that but god this is real right that that's real but this is real real too so i had to bring y'all this video because it's it's disturbing like my spirit is disturbed so make sure you, you if you have grandchildren if you have children listen have them conversations with them i don't care how old they are have them conversations about about this and matter of fact share this video to them so that they can have a uh eye opener because sometimes they'd be like oh i got it mama don't worry about it i got it i know you know what i'm saying you never know who's watching you so many people have lost their lives by posting on social media i'm not saying that's what happened with her but i'm just saying so many people have lost their lives posting guabs and guabs of money and somebody come in breaking in thinking that they have it like I said before, I'm not saying that's what she done, but I'm just saying we just got to be more careful. But make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and that's my time. Peace.